Francis of Paula was a man who deeply loved contemplative solitude and wished only to be the least in the household of God. Yet, when the church called him to active service in the world, he became a miracle worker and influenced the course of nations. Francis was born in Paola, now a province of Casenza, on March 27, 1416. Afflicted as a child by a severe infection of one eye, his parents entrusted him to the intercession of Francis of Assisi. If he recovered, he would wear the Franciscan habit for a whole year. It was a miracle. The boy did recover. The parents attributed this miracle to St. Francis's intercession and named the child after him. When Francis was 15 years old, he entered the convent of St. Marco Argentano in order to fulfill the vow made by his parents. He was placed in the care of Franciscan friars to be educated and to live according to the rule of their religious offer. After a year of probation, everyone thought Francis would continue at the monastery. However, he left the place as he couldn't make up his mind. He soon undertook a pilgrimage to Assisi with his parents. On his way to Assisi, he visited Rome. He was troubled deeply by what he saw in Rome. According to his anonymous first biographer, Francis rebuked a cardinal because of his luxurious clothes with these words, Our Lord did not dress like that. This was the first sign of his reforming soul. When he returned home, he was no longer a boy. Francis returned to Paola and moved out of the family home, setting himself up as a hermit in a cave by the sea near his parents' home, like the earliest desert fathers, such as St. Anthony of Egypt. He would live alone in the woods, in a run-down barn, and later in a cave. The young monk slept in a cave and ate what he could gather in the wild. Sometimes his friends would bring him food too. Within the first few months, two companions joined him. Soon, many young people began to flock to his hermitage, eager to place themselves under his spiritual guidance, and a small religious community was born. The townspeople assisted in building three individual cells for the hermits, as well as a chapel where a priest would offer mass. This small group continued to grow into a larger religious order. Without compromising the young founder's insistence on penitential and primitive living conditions, they were first known as the Hermits of St. Francis of Assisi but later renamed the Minims, meaning the least, and signifying their contentment to humility. Francis and his monks were notable not only for their austere lifestyle, but also for their strict diet, which not only eliminated meat and fish, but also included eggs, dairy products, and other foods derived from animals. Abstinence from meat and other animal products became a fourth vow of his religious order, along with the traditional vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Francis's reputation for holiness spread rapidly. Pope Paul II sent one of his emissaries to Paola for news of the hermit. After receiving the report on the monastery, the Pope decided to join the community as well. The rule was formally approved by Pope Alexander VI, who officially named them the Minims. Countless miracles were attributed to St. Francis of Paola, 
One time, Francis and his companions were in Catona en route to Sicily. There were several boats leaving the mainland, and Francis hoped to find a passage in any one of them. By the time they arrived, all the boats except one had left the port. The boatmen refused to take Francis and his companions unless they paid him. Francis asked his friars to wait for a moment and knelt down to pray, then stood up, and he put his cloak on the water and tied one end to his staff as a sail. It was a miracle. The friars, too, stepped in and they soon sailed away. Hurriedly, all his companions found places on other boats, accompanied by the shouts and prayers of the witnesses. From the very beginning, Francis was a famous wonder worker. He worked wonders for all of his life, from the building of his first monastery till his French period. He used common objects to work miracles so that everyone understood that it was God who really restored people to health or solved problems. A young man of Paula found a wound in his arm which could not heal, although he had consulted famous doctors. Go to Francis and he will heal you, his mother said to him. He made up his mind and went to the saint to tell him about his problem and his unsuccessful attempts to solve it. Francis stooped down to pick up an herb at random and said, Make it boil, put it on your arm, and you will heal. The young man looked at him and objected, This is a common herb. How can it work miracles? It is the faith which works miracles, the hermit replied. Francis was approached by common people as well as by academics in search of spiritual guidance. Francis's work caught the attention of European kings and nobility as well as popes and bishops. At the request of Pope Sixtus IV, Francis traveled to Paris to help Louis XI of France prepare for his death. While the king was hoping for a miraculous healing, Francis advised him that he should not fear death, but rather be more concerned about his eternal fate. Francis became the king's spiritual advisor and ended up influencing national politics. The king died in Francis' arms in 1483. Louis XI's son and successor, Charles VIII, kept Francis as an advisor. Despite his status at court, Francis did not break from the monastic rule he had developed while living in his hermitage outside of Paola. He continued as superior general of the Minim Order and founded new monasteries in France. When he was 91, sensing the end of his earthly life was near, Francis returned to living in complete solitude for three months to prepare himself. When he emerged, he gathered a group of the Minim brothers and gave them final instructions for the future of the order. Francis died in Tours on April 2nd, 1507. His fame soon spread throughout Europe, thanks to the three branches of the family of the Minims. He was canonized on May 1st, 1519, only 12 years after his death. The order of the Minim still exists today, especially in Italy. The story from his early years about Francis miraculously sailing on his cloak and staff across the Strait of Messina from Italy to Sicily led to his being declared a patron of seafarers in 1943. 
O most holy St. Francis, God gives wisdom to the simple and makes the merest child wise. Pray that he grants me this reward he promises to the humble through your intercession. Help me always to make a good examination of conscience and confession. Amen.